This is the Al Shaheen oil field. Developed under the auspices of Qatar Petroleum, it's already providing a third of Qatar's energy. It's served by a massive production complex, including more than 300 wells and 30 platforms like this, some of which are the largest in the Arabian Gulf. Hugely impressive, but maybe hard to reconcile with groundbreaking, world-class environmental achievements. And yet Al Shaheen has already won international recognition for its environmental credentials. How can that happen? It's partly a matter of culture. More than 20 years ago, when they set out to develop Al Shaheen, Qatar Petroleum found a like-minded partner in Maersk Oil. Maersk, they did a great job. The innovation and the innovated and, and the solution was one of the best in the world. Indeed, this innovation was recognized by the UN for the Al Shaheen Development Team's approach in implementing the FDP 2005 expansion program. An important element to this development plan, and it has been accepted by the CDM or, or Clean Development Mechanism Committee as a registered project, and it is actually the largest registered CDM project in the world. That's a great credit to Qatar and to Maersk uh, that shows how much we want to conserve the environment and we care about the environment. It's easy to produce oil, but the most important is the innovation. How we can learn from the best practice and how we can adopt the best and the latest state-of-art technology in the, in the oil uh, business. Since they first started work on the Al Shaheen field more than 20 years ago, Qatar Petroleum and Maersk Oil have been committed to minimizing its environmental footprint. So in 2005, when Qatar Petroleum agreed with Maersk Oil on a massive expansion of the complex, environmental concerns remained right at the top of their agenda. Really interesting One of their main requirements was that as little as possible of the gas produced, along with Al Shaheen's oil, should be flared. Is it, is it a little bit too fast now? This, this project will be... We consider it our license to operate, to work safely and environmentally responsibly. And a very big achievement for us has been that we have reduced the gas flaring now to uh, virtually zero. For the oil and gas industry to see 300 or more thousand barrels a day with less than 5 million standard cubic feet of flaring, uh, this is a great achievement. As well as reducing emissions, Qatar Petroleum were keen to use this gas to help provide clean power to fuel the development of Qatar's economy and communities. The gas gathering system was simple, but turning it into reality required adaptability and significant investments in new hardware and operating procedures. It meant that the project team had to build more gas compressors and to drill more wells for re-injection. Much of the success can be attributed to the team's collective expertise in horizontal drilling. By steering their drill strings accurately over long distances, its engineers and planners have been able to channel Al Shaheen's production through far fewer platforms than would otherwise have been necessary. And even now, with all the new facilities installed, the operations team have to take immense care in the way they plan and schedule their activities. As Qatar Petroleum look to the future, they remain committed to ensure that Al Shaheen's oil and gas reserves are managed responsibly and sustainably developed for the long-term benefit of all Qatar's people, now and for generations to come.
A key part of that effort is to protect Qatar's most precious resource, the unique environments of its coastal reaches and the waters of the Arabian Gulf.